Hey guys, I really felt like doing a nice relaxing calming video today um, I'm a little bit stressed out. I'm gonna be moving house soon, which of course means packing up all of the books so obviously we can all understand how much of a trauma that will be I won't have access to them for days possibly weeks who knows it will make videos slightly more difficult than usual uh, so while they're still all up on the shelves I thought I would do a beautiful books video it has been a long time since I've done one of these so I've just chosen 10 books from my shelves that are gorgeous and that I want to share with you. So the first book, While Beautiful, is an absolute monster. This is from Four Corners Books and it is Vanity Fair by William Makepeace Thackeray and it is so pretty but so massive. This is a hardcover, it's got a dust jacket, the inside is just the same pale pink and the actual book itself is peppered with these incredible illustrations. I am in love with this book, it is so beautiful. I actually have yet to read it but I mean how daunting is this thing? It is like a brick um, but it is so stunning and I actually really do want to get around to reading this sometime soon, hopefully. The next book is one of the Puffin in Bloom collection. This is A Little Princess by Frances Hodgson Burnett and I love A Little Princess. It is such a fantastic book and it took me a really long time to find an edition that I adored. I originally read this um, on my iPad and I loved it but I needed a physical copy, obviously. But when this one came out, I knew I had to have it. It is so, so pretty. It's got a beautiful spine. The detail on the back is lovely as well. The end papers are gorgeous, as is the title page. These are incredible little books and just, I hope they bring out so many more of these. Next, we've got one of my Woodhouse editions published by Norton. I love these editions, but this one I think is my very favourite. This is very good Jeeves and I love this illustration. I think it is gorgeous and I love the illustration on the back as well. I also love the way these editions feel. The covers have a strange texture to them. They're very matte and then the pages are very soft. These books open beautifully without needing to bend the spine. I just these editions are so fantastic and this one in particular I just find stunning. Next up we have a Penguin Deluxe Edition, this is one of the Couture classics. This is Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte and this was designed by Ruben Toledo. I think this is gorgeous. Such a lovely edition. Uh, the picture on the back I find somewhat creepy but I really enjoy the front cover. Um, this has French flaps which is a lovely edition to any book as well as I'm not sure if you'll be able to tell but there has deckled edges as well which I know is a love-hate thing with some people um, it is it does make it harder to flick through the book if you're trying to find something in particular but I don't find it a problem when I'm actually just reading every page but yeah these editions are lovely and I think this is actually the only one I own so I might have to think about getting more of these at some point next up we have this amazing edition of The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald. It has this amazing foiled art deco design. This is actually part of a collection of Fitzgerald's work with all different designs but keeping along the same theme. I actually don't know which design I like best but I just thought I would show you Gatsby for today. So shiny and so pretty. This is another hardcover and it's actually white inside with the gold writing and so beautiful I just I adore these books and another beautiful feature is there's actually a bookmark um, right here in the back that you can disconnect from the book and use I haven't brought myself to do it yet maybe I will someday because I would like to use the bookmark but it's just it's such a stunning book I don't want to mar it in any way I don't know so gorgeous love these the next book is yet another penguin book 
Penguin know how to do gorgeous books, I must say. This is part of the Penguin Threads editions and the original design, as you can tell, is actually embroidered and then it is printed onto these uh, really pliable soft covers with French flaps once again. But then the inside is printed to look like the back of the embroidery, which is just a beautiful, beautiful touch. And the way it's printed, the design is actually kind of raised on the paper. It's just, these are lovely, once again, with uh, deckled edges. I think these would make really wonderful gift books because they are just so pretty. I actually don't own all of them, but I own most of them. And they're so beautiful. I really hope they continue to bring these out over the years because <sighs> so lovely. Did I even mention that this is Wind of the Willows? <laughs> you can probably tell, but this is Wind of the Willows by Kenneth Graham. Anyway, next up, this book is published by Hodder and Stratton, and it is The Gates by John Connolly. I love this book. It is 100% fantastic. And this is actually a hardcover without a dust jacket, which I quite enjoy. And it has these very intense end papers. I ordered this online years ago and was very pleasantly surprised to find that it is a signed copy. So I love this book for many reasons, but I just, the design is what drew me in to begin with, I'm not gonna lie. I think it is very eye-catching, very interesting. And luckily the book stands up to the beautiful cover. Next up, a book that doesn't actually stand up to the beautiful cover, but I wanted to share it with you anyway because I do really like the way it looks. Uh, this is The English Ghost Spectres Through Time by Peter Aykroyd, and I think this design is really awesome. Um, I really like the back as well, the spine is lovely. This is another hardcover, just plain red on the inside with the gold writing, just black end papers. Really beautiful looking book. Unfortunately, this didn't quite meet my expectations. I really like reading about myths and legends and folklore and ghosts and things like that. And this just fell kind of flat for me. It was kind of dull. Yeah, definitely didn't meet expectations, but the book is beautiful. But I did actually read a book recently about hauntings that was absolutely fantastic and far surpassed expectations. Absolutely adored it. Um, actually listen to it on audio, but I will talk more about that in my monthly wrap up, but it was super good. Next up is a Bloomsbury publication. This is The Sleeper and the Spindle by Neil Gaiman. The illustrations are by Chris Riddle, and this is just so pretty. I don't know if you can really tell, but the dust jacket is sheer, and it shows the image underneath of Sleeping Beauty. And the end papers are these wonderful mountains. And all of the illustrations keep up this black, white, and gold design throughout the book. The entire thing is ridiculously stunning. Plus, the story is absolutely wonderful. I just was blown away when I read this for the first time. It is so incredible. It is actually a retelling of Sleeping Beauty merged with Snow White. And it is just so, so good and it is also just a beautiful thing to own. Next up, I've got a book published by Bowser and Bray, which is an imprint of HarperCollins, and this is the first book in the Encourageable Children of Ashton Place series. This is The Mysterious Howling by Mary Rose Wood, and I really enjoy this children's series. I think it's gorgeous, but the thing that drew me to it is the amazing designs. I love these illustrations, so beautiful. The back is lovely as well. I love the spine. The end papers are gorgeous and the actual book itself is gorgeous as well. I don't know if you're going to be able to tell, but there's actually a little squirrel embossed on the front there as well. It's the attention to detail. I love this book. Once again, with the deckled edges, just stunning. Love it. So that was it. Those were 10 beautiful books that I have on my shelves. I'm sure I will do more of these videos in the future. Um, I'll definitely do another one when I'm settled into the new house, another sort of calming video to do. If you're interested in any of those books, I'll have all of the links down below, my Book Depository affiliate links, so you can go check those out if you're interested. Thank you all for watching, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this, and I will see you soon.